Good morning children. Today we shall learn about rational numbers. How do we count things? We count using the numbers. Three friends, four balloons, six tomatoes, eight balls, etc. The numbers we use to count are called counting numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. The counting numbers are also known as natural numbers. Zero is not a counting number as we cannot count zero object. If there are zero ice creams, it means there is no ice cream. So we cannot count zero ice cream. When we include zero with the natural or the counting numbers, they are called whole numbers. There is no fractional or decimal part here and no negative numbers. And when we add the negatives of the natural numbers with the whole numbers, the collection is called the integers. Thus, the integers are minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. There is a gap between two neighboring integers, say between 0 and 1. What are these numbers? Between two integers, there are fractions. Like 1 by 3 is situated between 0 and 1 as 1 by 3 is greater than 0 but less than 1. Same way, 1 one third is situated between 1 and 2 as 1 one third is more than 1 but less than 2. Thus, fractions are also situated between the two neighboring integers say between 0 and 1 and we have 1 by 4, 2 by 4, 3 by 4 etc. Kareem is a businessman. Profit of Monday for Kareem was rupees 400 and we show it by using plus 400. On Tuesday, he suffered a loss of rupees 100 and this loss can be represented as minus 100 rupees. And what about showing distances? Let us assume the mean sea level is 0. An aeroplane is flying at 1800 meters above the sea level. So, it is represented by plus 1800 meter as it is above sea level and we take it as positive. The submarine is at 900 meters below the sea level. So, it is at minus 900 meters as below the sea level we take it as negative. Now, how do we represent these in fractions? What will we do if we want to show the opposites of positive fractions? The aeroplane is flying at 1800 meters which is 1 8 by 10 kilometer above the sea level. This height is represented by plus 1 8 by 10 kilometers and submarine is at 900 meters below the sea level which is 9 by 10 kilometers below the sea level in fraction. Here we can use minus 9 by 10 to represent the depth just like we use the negative integer to represent the depth. So there are negative fraction values on the left of 0 2 like minus 1 by 4, minus 2 by 4 etc. These are situated between 0 and 1. So the integers and the fractions all of these numbers can be found on a number line. When we include the integers and the fractions, they are known as the rational numbers. And the rational numbers can be shown on a number line. The word rational comes from the term ratio. Or we can say rational number is a number that can be expressed as a ratio. A fraction is a rational number 
as it can be expressed as a ratio. For example, 1 by 2 means 1 is to 2. Correct? You know every integer is a rational number because any integer can be written as a fraction. For example, 4 can be written as 4 by 1. Minus 65 can be written as minus 65 by 1. And 3867 can be written as 3867 by 1. So, all these are rational numbers. To put it more simply, any rational number can be expressed as a ratio, say P by Q, where P and Q are both integers. So, is 5 by 0 a rational number? As we know, we cannot divide by 0. So, 5 by 0 is not a rational number. Thus, a rational number can be expressed as a ratio P by Q, where P and Q are integers, but Q cannot be 0, as we cannot divide by 0. Look here, both the numerator and denominator of these numbers are positive integers. Such rational numbers are called positive rational numbers like 4, 6 by 10, 1 by 2, etc. Positive integers, positive fractions are situated on the right side of 0 on the number line and are positive rational numbers. As we know, integers can be negative too. So, when we express the rational numbers as the ratio of integers, that integer can be a negative number too. If either of the numerator or the denominator is negative, we call that as negative rational number. So, here minus 4 which can be expressed as minus 4 by 1 or as 4 by minus 1 is a negative rational number. All the negative rational numbers are situated on the left of 0 like the negative integers on a number line. For example, minus 4 is equal to minus 4 by 1. We cannot express any negative rational number with both the numerator and the denominator as negative integer. Why? Let's take a ratio minus 3 by minus 5. It is actually equal to 3 by 5 and hence it is a positive rational number. So, to sum up what we learned today, what are rational numbers? Every natural number is a rational number. Every whole number is a rational number. Every integer is a rational number. And every fraction is a rational number. In short, a number A by B is a rational number if A and B are integers and b is not equal to 0. Thus, 3 by 5 or minus 5 by 8 are the examples of rational numbers. So, now we know what are rational numbers. That's all for now. Bye-bye children.